The Morning Fix with Andy George. Well, it is Friday, 8.37. Of course, we catch up with Kylie Gunn from Events and Venues every Friday around this time. But uh, apparently she's not coming in today. Uh, Lou Parker, what are you doing? You've just come into the <laughs> studio and you said, Andy, look, we've cancelled Kylie. This is what you said, right? We've cancelled Kylie Gunn. You're not going to talk to her this morning. We have a surprise for you. We've I been working understand. on it for a while. Have you? Can you please trust me? I, I can't, I, yeah. Yeah, you can trust me. <laughs> All right, get ready, Andy, because we have a surprise for you. And you're going to love it. What's going Why is everyone looking at me through the window? <laughs> do I have to be worried? Oh, I don't know. Do you have to be worried? I mean, it's something that I'm involved with, so. <laughs> <laughs> well. Look at Andy's face. I don't He's know what so to expect. <laughs> Lou just comes barging in, reprips my show. So we can do this. Yeah, I cancelled an appointment. I basically told him he needs to trust me on this one. He has no idea what is happening right now. I don't. I don't have a clue. <laughs> I feel really uncomfortable knowing that I'm on air and I don't know what's happening next on my own show. I'm actually very proud that he's let go of the reins. <laughs> he's trusting us on this. He probably shouldn't, though. <laughs> if I didn't know you as well as I do, then it might be a different situation. Yeah, I know. I know. How long do we have? A minute 40. Okay, cool. <laughs> right. Well, today is 95.9 Mori Fem Pink, just like a pill at 847, Friday the 13th of December. Uh, unlucky day for some. I'm feeling really nervous. <laughs> I've had to wait, and some of my poor listeners, another four minutes to figure out what the surprise is that you've got. I know. We've nicknamed it Operation Friday the 13th around the office. Yeah, okay. <laughs> It's I'm a so good worried. thing. Okay, please trust but me. Anyway, so we've had a phone call put through to the studio. Unfortunately, it went to the wrong phone, but now it's on the phone that we can put through. Okay. We can we can put on it. So it's ringing. Am I answering this now? Answer the phone, Andy. More FM, hello. Can you hear hello. us? Hello. Hello. Who's this? Yes. Is it's it? your brother. How are you? Hey, mate. What's up? Uh, so um, I've got a, got a bit of a surprise for you, mate. Um... So, obviously, you, you and your listeners are aware that uh, a while ago you um, uh, obviously saved our old man's life with uh, with the CPR and all the rest of it after the uh, after the Gold Coast Sevens, and you know it, it was really kind of you know a massive shock to me to hear that, but you know almost an inspiring tale of the fact that you did what you did, and you know our, our family is still as one, and it's kind of mostly on your shoulders. So. Um, I, I contacted the uh, New Zealand Rugby Union and I, I asked if I could um, somehow get a little bit of a, of a memento, which is a bit of a thank you on behalf of kind of the family, really, for, for your actions on, on that day, October the 13th, I think it was something like that. Um, and uh, the lovely man called Ross, who's the manager of the New Zealand Sevens team, got in contact with me and uh, he said, you know, what can I do for you? So... Um, he uh, very, very kindly went out and uh, pulled together a little bit of a, um, a present. So um, I'm not, I, obviously, I can't really see what's going on at the moment, but hopefully he's, uh, <laughs> he's in the, he's, he's around there He's coming, and, yes. Um, Let's bring Ross yeah, into the studio. A present. Right. Wow, Dave, your brother yeah. on the phone saying thank you for saving your dad's life. It's incredible. And, wow, this is Ross. I played this man in bowls last <laughs> night. <laughs> there you go, mate. <laughs> yeah, good. Good to see you. We'll put Ross on here, and uh, you're in the studio to present something pretty special for Andy. Come a little closer here. What have you got? Hey, um, David contacted us, as, as he said just before, and uh, wanted to obviously recognise what you did for your family and for your dad and ask whether we could get a signed jersey so, uh, and oh, whether I could come good. along and, uh, and present it. So wow. we'd like to give that to you, um, obviously on behalf of the family. Wow. That's incredible. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. No worries. That's amazing. I can't believe it. Speechless. Yeah. <laughs> what are you thinking, Andy? Your brother Dave's on the line. He's calling no, from the UK to thank you for saving your dad's life. And <laughs> and then you've got a signed T-shirt. This is... Uh, you know, how do you such, feel? Obviously, it was such a bad moment, the 13th of October, when I had to give CPR to Dan. But this has just made the year perfect. Oh. <laughs> it's incredible. What are you? What, are you still there, Dave? Yeah. What do you reckon about this? He's yeah, yeah. stoked. Thank you. Yeah. So well, much. no. I mean, it's just. I mean, obviously, it's a brilliant thing, and thank you very much, Ross, for kind of all your efforts and all the emails I've kind of sent to you and all the rest of it. But I mean, it's just a little token of kind of, I guess, my appreciation and and you know the family's appreciation of, of everything you did because 
I guess hopefully it's memento of the day and hopefully you look back on it as a bit of a, you know, a day that was a, you know, a good thing, I guess, to some extent. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you can kind of hang that on your wall and it'll always remind you of that that day. And obviously it's something that the family's always going to look back on and be very proud of you and, wow. yeah, all the emotional stuff. Oh. <laughs> oh, well. Who feels a tear welling up in their eyes? <laughs> I'm trying so hard here. <laughs> Wow. Um, wow, that was just totally unexpected. Luke came into the studio and said, look, you know, trust me. And I was like, oh, really? <laughs> yeah. But this is just amazing. Thank you so much, David. And, Ross, thank you to you as well, mate. That's just phenomenal. <laughs> wow. Awesome. With yeah, the well, surprise? I guess it's one of the... One of the first times a, uh, a radio presenter might have been speechless, but I don't, I don't know if we got there. <sighs> we totally got there. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's amazing. David, thank you, man. I appreciate that. He is speechless. He's actually speechless. This is this is a definite first. Oh, man. Brilliant. Great work, guys. Fabulous effort. You pulled it off. Appreciate it, David. Thank you for your call, mate. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, and thank you very much, Lou, for kind of being sneaky and doing Operation Friday the 13th in oh, the background. Yeah. That means a lot that uh, you would help us out. So <laughs> With a lot you. of help from the guys, oh, but, dear. yeah, no worries. Thank you. Thanks, Dave. I need, no, I, need to, I need to calm down. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Appreciate it. Have a goodie. Yeah, cheers, mate. I'll speak to you soon. <laughs> yeah, see you later. Wow. Ross, thank you so much. Um, obviously, we met last night at Lawn Bowls, didn't we? Yeah, no, no, we, no we did. Didn't yeah, expect and unfortunately, a... you beat me as well, so that didn't help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm glad you saw past that. Thank you very much. This is just outstanding. That's amazing. Obviously, what you did for your family and for your father's touched your brother, and you keep your keep your family together. And it obviously touched us when we got the email from David as well. So, obviously, sad. on behalf of the team, you know, it's it's awesome to be able to just do something very small for you for what you did for your family. <laughs> oh no, what do you say other than thank you so much? I really appreciate it. I mean, I love the New Zealand Sevens team, and this just really makes it for me. Eh? Oh, I'm going to have a break. <laughs> <laughs> this is Maury FM. Welcome in 8.53. <laughs>